what it is what it is what's up my people what's going on what's going on hold on, hold on let me let me straighten this out hold on what's good people camera is camera in the night i like that camera look good you look good you play good you feel good oh i, I forgot what the with the with the Dion line was, but I like it though. What's up with my peoples, man? Let's talk some cowboys. Let's 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 talk. Hold on, let me get the mic closer. My fault. My fault. Who in here? It's just me talking to myself. That's cool. Live stream to myself tonight. That's what we're gonna do. I'll let it fill up a little bit. I don't really want to talk to myself, but I will. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. KD, what's good? KD, you have the honor of getting a mod. First person in here, no mod spoke, so you 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 get the mod. Devin Overton, what's good? Kelvin Hicks, Droku, my peoples, my peoples, Amanda Brown, late night, Dalton McCall, what's good? <laughs> You're the go. Appreciate you, Dalton. Appreciate you, man. Tito Negron. What's going on? Everett James. D.A. Lee. Mike Jank. What's good? Pook Watson. Pookie Watson. My fault. Fred Allen. Suzanne Jackson. What's up? What's up? Icy. My guy. My guy. Mike E. What's good? Y'all hit that like button as y'all come in. 57 of y'all. You know, Saturday. We're going to talk a little Dak. We're going to talk a little, um, a little draft. You know. That's what we gonna do. That's what we gonna do. First and foremost, everybody that's coming in, y'all hit that like button. But how are y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? Are y'all feeling good? What's up with y'all? You know, happy Saturday. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. You know why? One of the best times of the year to be a Cowboys fan is approaching draft night. Now I know last year's draft wasn't that good. But we we participate in draft night, you know what I'm saying? So looking forward to it. Fred Allen feeling great. That's dope, man. That's dope. Comfortable and chilling. That's what it is, Droku. That's what we get. Thomas Garrett. What's it what it is, man? You know, how y'all feeling approaching draft night, cowboys wise? Y'all nervous? Y'all, y'all, y'all nervous about our first pick? What y'all, what we gonna do at twenty four? Like, let me know. Let's let, let let's let's have some discussions. Let's let me talk to my peoples. You know, Jermaine Barry was good. You know, Devon Overton, that humble hustle sign is fire. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. I feel like you should always move with humility. You know, a lot of people don't. You know, pride gets in their way. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think they smarter than everybody and everything like that. But I'm humble first. You know what I'm saying? I ain't soft. <laughs> but I am humble. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you, man. Something I live by, man. Humility is a big deal. Thomas Garrett, CFT, I'm ready for the draft in a couple of weeks. I am too, man. Everett James, Rue, Rue to the Q's, man. Rue to the Q's. Shout out to my frat brothers, man. Elijah Robinson, what up, Ron? What's good with you? You know, I've been thinking, y'all, y'all, many of y'all saw the Dak workout video a couple of days ago. He tried to give everybody a seizure. The joint where it was flashing all crazy. How many of y'all saw that joint? You know, I just want to know. I'm trying to get a touch base. <laughs> Jermaine very nervous. Why? Don't be nervous. You a Cowboys fan, man. We are the show. Don't be nervous. Let me ask you, Devon. Since you, you know, what I'm saying you commented, I see, I seen it was fire. How did you feel about it? You know, did it make you angry? Amanda Brown, you let me know. Y'all let me know how you felt about it because some Cowboys fans they, they, yo, they detest workout videos. Like, oh my god, you working out? Don't be working out. <laughs> like, you know, Cowboys fans is mad at everything. Don't you be working out? So, how y'all feel about it? Did it make you happy, angry? What, what did it do? What's in the cup, Ron? You know, a little, little crown reserve. Nothing too crazy. 
It's Saturday Night Live. DN, uh, DN Lee, what's good? What's good? Y'all hit that like button, man. I got 44 likes. I got 77 people in here. You know I jump in here out the blue. Everybody should know I'm going live Saturday night. Hey, but while we had this conversation, next Saturday night, next Saturday night, I probably won't be live. I'm positive I won't be live. Anybody have an idea why? Let me see if anybody remember. From last year. It's a loaded question. Y'all probably shouldn't remember, but I'm just, just messing with y'all. Nah, not Founders Day. <laughs> not Founders Day. as in November. Next, that's it. Michael, um, let me see, Kamilski? I know I mispronounced that. Not anniversary. It's my birthday. Turning 41. Can y'all believe it? 41 next Saturday. Literally, Saturday is my birthday. So now nah, I won't be live. I might jump on a little bit, but not 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 the stream. Just to say what up with y'all. Y'all want to have a drink with me for two minutes or something like that? Might do that. Um, but yeah, birthday, birthday's next week. So, you know, April's a good month for me. We got our draft. You know what I'm saying? Um, birthday. It's, it's 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 a good month for me. I'm happy. But you want to give me an early birthday gift? Just hit the like button. Ain't even that big a deal. <laughs> Just hit the like button for me. That will help. Let's get it to 100 likes. We got 91 people in here. Um, appreciate y'all. Happy early born day. I appreciate y'all, man. You know, I'm blessed to be here. Blessed to be able to do content for y'all. Blessed to be able to rock with y'all. And I appreciate y'all. Um, Dak Prescott, man. The, um, I'll switch back to context. I know some people be getting mad. Yo, you always talking about other stuff. You ain't talking Cowboys. You know. Um, I looked at it as... I feel Dak. I feel like Dak sending a message. I feel like Dak Prescott is sending a message. Now, you think he's sending a message to the Cowboys, or he's sending a message to the league? Because I've been paying attention to the Cowboys for a long time. I always see still videos of Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott worked out with the young receivers. You know, Dak Prescott just got done working out with his quarterbacks coach. Y'all remind or y'all y'all tell me and th everybody saying happy early birthday. Thank y'all, man. Everybody, I see y'all. I see the early birthday wishes. I really do appreciate y'all. And we got work coming this week. I'm gonna be working all week. I got I got live streams. I'm gonna be jumping on with Vosh Lombardi this week. I'm probably jumping on with my brothers this week. I um, got another live stream on Monday. Um, um, I want it with itches love sports. I'm trying not to curse. Um, so I got I got things coming this week. I got things coming. We're going to be putting in work. Yes, sir. Um, Amanda Brown, message to the league. Dak to the Raiders. Oh, we got one of those in here. Okay. You must be a Raiders fan, Travis Smitty. You a Raiders fan? How long you been a Raiders fan? Um, I look at it as Dak sending a message to the Cowboys, actually. Um. Because, like I said, Dak usually he releases those videos or, or those those still pictures of I was working out, and then it's up for speculation. What was they doing? Where was they at? Usually he, he take the he took the players to Georgia last year. He had Navy Seal speak to the team, stuff like that. But this is different, and it's not that it looked like crazy. Then I don't know what you're talking about. If you're not a um a Raiders fan, why are you in here talking about the Raiders? <laughs> I must be confused. Um, TC on the drums, the five dollar super chat, first super chat of the night. Thank you. We appreciate you, Rome, and all of your Cowboys content creators. Appreciate you, man. That's love. Happy, happy birthday, my younger bro. Hey, I'm getting up there. I'm getting up there. Thank you. I appreciate the love. Thank you for that super chat. I'm getting up there, man. Thank you. Um. I feel like personally, Dak Prescott, it's it's a subtle like, hey man, I'm working, I'm locked in. I don't care about y'all shenanigans. I don't care if we ain't had contractual agreements, contractual talks. I'm working regardless. It's a message. I don't think it's a message to the rest of the league for what? Rest of the league don't even believe in Dak Prescott. Don't nobody like Dak, right? That's what I've been told. So why would he be sending sending a message to the league? 
I feel like it's a definitive message to the front office. Y'all tactics not going to work. I don't care who you bring in here. Don't bring nobody in here. I'm out here putting in work, and we're going to go to work with whoever I got. I like it. I'm talking about like he was at SMU the other day. Like he's working, working. Like he putting in work like you would think that a 30, soon to be 31-year-old shouldn't be. Appreciate you, Michael Clark. Appreciate all the birthday, early birthday wishes. It's next Saturday, by the way. It's not now. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate the early love. You know, let's get it to 100 likes. There's 125 people in here. Just 20 more likes. We can get there. You know. It's some random dude. Look, look, listen, 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 older gentlemen. And that's crazy for me to say that because I'm old. I'm turning 41. But I like Danny White better. I don't know what agenda you in here to push. I'm glad you've been a Cowboys fan since 1973. Congratulations. That ain't got nothing to do with 2024. It don't. And if you don't like Dak Prescott, you should start your own YouTube channel and tell everybody about it. But we don't care. <laughs> and telling me how long you've been a Cowboys fan never matters. You want to hear a pet peeve of mine? Love's beauty was good. Was good. Y'all. I want to hear a pet peeve of mine. I got to tell you. And we 14 likes away from, from um, 100 likes. I do not care how long you've been a Cowboys fan. That goes to the entire Cowboys nation. From Rome or CFT or whatever you like to call me. I don't care. That is not a badge of honor. You can be a bad friend for 20 years and you can meet a friend for a year and they're a better friend than your 20-year-old friend. You being a fan for that long don't mean you a good fan. You could have been a bad fan since 1973. I don't care how long you've been a fan. Now, respect to your fandom, but telling me that doesn't matter. And it's not just your fault, gentlemen. Everyone does that. Thank you, Everett James. Everett James with the $20 Super Chat. I appreciate you um, and your support and the $20 Super Chat. And I will 100% have a drink on you. Thank you. That is dope of you. And it's no disrespect to my man, whatever his name is. Um, this isn't personal to Travis Smitty. Congratulations. Great that you've been a fan that long. But I'm just telling you, um, you being a fan for a long time don't mean nothing. There's people that's married for a long time, and they it's a bad marriage, and they're a bad husband or wife. People be bad friends for 20 years. You could be a bad teammate for mad years. Time don't make it great. It just make you makes it just makes you say like you've been around for a long time. Time don't mean loyalty neither. It just means You've been around for a long time. You know what makes all of that stuff matter? Let me go ahead and read these super chats that y'all drop. Y'all dropping dubs in here. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. K Living with the $20 super chat. Thank you, K. Um, and thank you again, Everett James. I appreciate you too. Um, just showing love, Rome. Don't get <laughs> don't get to catch lives as much as I used to. And happy early birthday too. If I don't get to say it. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the love, man. Thank you. And y'all know what to do. I'm slipping. See, I didn't got distracted. I forgot the rules. So I apologize. Before I didn't went on my diatribe. Y'all know what to do. You know what reminded me of it? Love's beauty reminded me of it. When you drop 20 in the chat, you get acknowledged, and I ask you to put flames in there for me. So y'all definitely put flame emojis in there forever, James. And put flame emojis in the chat for K Living. Both of them deserve flames and love because they dropped the dub in here. And I was on my complaining rant, and that's my fault. So I'm sorry. See, I, I'm wrong. I can be wrong. I apologize. Got 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 two into my feelings talking about fans. Cause you know why? And y'all know why? It's 107 people in here too. Hey, hey, last 50 people that jumped in here and then hit the like button. Can y'all do that? Because I ain't see the 50 of y'all sliding the back door. Um, 
I get mad at the whole. It's like y'all ever play spades or cards? Let's talk. We having we gonna have some fun tonight. We we got cowboy stuff to talk about, but y'all want me to talk talk just talk talk, or y'all want me to stick on cowboys? What y'all want? Do y'all want to do both? Cause it's the kickback. That's what we do in the, in the off season. It's the kickback. We ain't got a game coming up. We ain't playing tomorrow. Tyrone Church, all talk. Let's do both then. Let's do both. We're going to enjoy ourselves. Why are you not a mod? Because you be in here. All right. Let's do both. All right. When you playing spades and you got the big joker, you be feeling like, yo, I got something for y'all. You hold it. It's like having a good hand. You like, okay. So you talking, you having your Cowboys debate. And people always want to just, they want to just slam that big joker. I've been a Cowboys fan since 1971. And I'll be wanting to just stop. Yo, yo, stop. So. So. I don't care. Because what does that mean? <laughs> like, like, don't, you don't, yo, you do not get a prize for that. You just don't. It just, it's not, it don't make you special. It don't. I can see if you was like, yo, I used to play for the Cowboys in the 90s. I'm like, oh, dad, all right, you right. You got it. <laughs> but to, <laughs> to say that and not, they don't even make a good point after that. I've been a fan for a minute. And that be it. And they, and they come in here trying to pay. You know why this started? Because the gentleman came in here and wanted to say, Dak is getting traded to the Raiders. Let me tell you why the Raiders ain't trading for Dak. First and foremost, no trade clause. That's first. Ain't no trade clause. Hold on, let me see my. Got a cool little glass in my Crown Royal, too. So. You already got a personal issue with Dak. You 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 wanted to you waited till my live stream at nine nineteen. I'm Eastern Standard Time or eight nineteen if you in in Dallas. You say, I'm about to get him. Yo, Dak getting traded to the Raiders. First of all, he's not. Because why would the Raiders trade for Dak Prescott a week and a half before the draft? Even if he waived this trade, no trade clause. Why wouldn't you see if you can get a young quarterback in the draft? Anybody know when the Raiders pick? 176 people in here. I know we can get it to 170 likes. Just hit the like because y'all know the rules. Who know the like rules? We're going to establish some things for some new people. Who know the like rules? Because it's always like a good 15, 20 people in here. Who know my like rules? It's simple. You don't walk in nobody's house, not take off your shoes, walk past them, go to the kitchen and make some food without first acknowledging them. And the best way to acknowledge the person doing a stream on YouTube is to hit the like button. You get the subscribe button. Lola Cowboys was good. The subscribe button is dope. That's showing real love. But hitting the like button, it's just like, yo, what up, man? Let me acknowledge you as I come in your house and sit down. But a lot of people like to come in the stream. They walk past you. They go in your fridge. They make your sandwich. They, they, they go in your liquor cabinet. They make a drink. They sit down. They start kicking it. And they never say what up to you. And that's crazy. Now, if you're an Eagles fan or a Giants fan or a Commanders fan, I get it. I ain't giving no Cowboys fan no like. I get it. But I expect the majority of y'all to show love. That's it. That's it. But yeah, man, that whole that, that whole telling me how long you've been a fan thing, and every fan base does it. That's not just a Cowboys thing. It's, it's an everybody thing. You know. But let me slide back to the Dak Prescott thing. I feel like Dak Prescott wants the Cowboys to know no matter what you're doing, I'm working. So all these rumors about the Cowboys, going, Dak going to the Raiders, and no, the Raiders have a great pick. I seen, I think they said 13th. Or 11th or whatever. 
the Raiders is going to take their chances. And y'all right, they might take Michael Penix, one of the quarterbacks they keep saying is going to end up with Cowboy. Let's count the let's count the quarterbacks that's going to go. Kayla Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels. I don't care about the order. JJ McCarthy, that's four. Let's let's count the quarterbacks that's going to go. That's going to go. Y'all help me out. I'm up to four. JJ McCarthy. Um, who else going first round? Bo Nix. <laughs> Sean Paul said no to Nix. All right, no Nix. Okay. Michael Penix. I think five going to first round. Bare minimum. Caleb. I see Caleb Penix. Daniels. We on the same page. Bo Nix is the laugh out loud. So maybe not Bo Nix. But I think up to J uh, up to Michael Penix will go. Five quarterbacks in the first round. Okay, y'all want to ask, do y'all want to answer the question, if Penix is there at 24, do you take him? 212 people in here. I know we can be at 200 likes. I'm going to take a like sip break. Let's let's answer that question. I know I'm all over the place tonight, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk draft in a little bit. I wanted to do the mock draft tonight, but I'm still getting used to doing restream and I ain't like being in a little box. I'm, I'm working on that. So we're going to work on that. So I ain't do the I ain't want to do the restream thing. So that's why I did the, my normal my normal screen. But do you take Michael Penix? I just Amanda Brown. Matter y'all. So y'all already know how I feel. Y'all see most hated over my shoulder. Forever our QB. That's how I roll. But a lot of people is thinking, because look, if you take Michael Penix at 24, does that not change the franchise completely? I feel like that changes everything. That's definitively saying, yo, I don't care about this year. We won't be able to function as a team. It's already bad. You draft Michael Penix, and look, this is the crazy thing. Two things can be true. I think Michael Penix is a good quarterback. He could grow into a great one. Do y'all agree with that? I think Penix can play. He accurate. His arm is strong. He had injury issues, but I think Michael Penix can play. But guess what? Guess what? No, no, this is hypothetical, Joseph Chapman. I am, I'm down with the tackler center. We're going to talk about the draft. We're going to talk about the draft. This is hypothetical. I don't want to, I don't want a quarterback at 24. Let's just be clear. This is just hypothetical. I'm talking about how it would change everything. That's all. It would just change the entire functionality of the draft. Um, they take a quarterback, you, you're conceding. You almost have to beg Dak to waive his trade clause. You can't have Penix on this roster. You already got Trey Lance. How many quarterbacks are we going to carry? Four? Nah. Nah. I just don't see it. Penix can be great, but you already got a great quarterback. Dak Prescott is great. Almost to 200 likes. We had 172. Go on and last 15 people that snuck in here. Go on and get it, get it there. Let's get it to 200 likes. So I don't see it. I don't see it. And look, if I got to come in here and eat crow on draft night and say we took a quarterback at 24, I'm going to have this out. See it? You see it? I'm going to have that out. And it's going to be a long night. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Well, let me let my camera readjust. My camera got confused. It's my fault. But yeah. Now nah, that happens, it's going to be a long night. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. But I don't see it. So if it happens, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I don't see it. Um, I just think that Dak Prescott, through all the hate, this is a visual, visual representation of I am working. So all you Cowboys fan haters, all the media haters, and everybody that thinks that I'm just going to fold. I'm right where I'm always at, right where I always am. 
grinding, putting in work in early April. I'm here. All pro, led the league in touchdowns, Dak Prescott. Grinding. Y'all don't think it's a coincidence that he dropped them videos right before the draft? <laughs> Love's beauty. They better not draft the quarterback. I know. Y'all think it's an accident that them videos came out a week and a half before the draft? This ain't no message to the league. This is a message to the Dallas Cowboys front office. He wants everyone to know. Yeah, Joe Gonzalez was good. I'm with you, Lola Cowboys. Dak, get your money. Get your money, Dak. He just wants them to know. It don't matter. Now, do y'all agree with me? Ain't it confusing that they just won't support this dude? I have never seen an all-pro quarterback not get loved or respected by his own fan base or his own team. Y'all can't name one. And, and, and can y'all can we can y'all just answer this for me? How can you accidentally become an all pro? Make that make sense. How do you accidentally become all pro? Explain. Because the way people treat this all pro is like, I mean, I mean, yeah, all pro. How you accidentally lead the league in touchdowns? The same year where people say, well, everybody got hurt. Did Patrick Mahomes get hurt last year? Because I could have swore I saw him win the Super Bowl. Did Josh Allen get hurt? No. No, he played the whole year. Because I, I keep hearing this whole, it was a down year for quarterbacks. Y'all heard that? Have y'all heard that? That stupidity? It was a down year for quarterbacks. Oh, my God, Angry Cowboys fan is in here? That's my dog. My fault. I need to see him slide in here. Sean Nesbeth with the 999 Super Chat. Thank you, Sean. Salute to you and the cartel. What's good with the cartel? My dogs. Dak and all pro. Bird in the hand. Is worth two in the bush. Oh, Sean Nesbeth, you you from the okay? Yeah, that that took me back. Shout out to Angry Cowboys fan, man. Y'all go y'all go check out my brother channel. He doing his job. He doing his thing. Show him some love, man. Seriously, seriously. And he got the <laughs> no weird stuff. Angry Cowboys fan got the best voice in, 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 <laughs> in Cowboys Nation. He got that voiceover voice. He sound like he doing a movie trailer. He be killing it. I don't got that voice. He got that 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 boys the men whine. That voice is crazy. <laughs> he come on there like, hey. I see. I can't even do it. That joint is it's 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 deep off the humble. Y'all don't understand. I'll be like, yo, that joint just make you pay attention. Yo, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, so y'all y'all go check it out and y'all see what I'm talking about, man. He be killing it. Um, hold on, hold on. And they still doing nothing in free agency either, either. Yeah, they're they not doing nothing in free agency. But I just don't understand how people think it's easy to do what he did. They said the league was a, it was a down year for quarterbacking. A down year? Lamar Jackson was healthy all year. Josh Allen was healthy all year. Patrick Mahomes was healthy all year. Jalen Hurts was healthy all year. These are all the quarterbacks I told was great. Justin Herbert. Well, he got hurt towards the end. Trevor Lawrence. Who's all the quarterbacks they put above Dak Prescott? All of them played. Now, I know Joe Burrow got hurt. Brad Harris. I'm good. I'm great, man. How are you? All of this stuff happened. And they just want to downplay my guy because it's him. You know how mad they was that when he was in the MVP conversation for mad years and we had 202 likes. Let me go on and cheers. Appreciate y'all. 202 likes. Thank y'all. If it was anybody else, they'd have got nothing but love. 
if Jalen Hurts led the league in touchdowns, you don't think they would have celebrated? Y'all don't think that if Josh Allen led the league in touchdowns, you wouldn't have been hearing it, hearing it at nauseum? All I heard last offseason before this one was Jalen Hurts is an all pro. Why haven't Dak became an all pro? Y'all know what they told me after Dak run his all pro? Do y'all hear what the media says after Dak won his all pro? We're going to get to the draft too. My fault, Evil E. We're going to get to the draft in two seconds. After Dak won his all pro, they said, What took him so long? What took him so long? This is what angers me. But anyway, all I know is this. I'm not worried about taking a quarterback at 24 or Trey Lance or anything. I have an all-pro quarterback that is in his prime, hitting his stride. When I watch those videos, do that, does that look like somebody that's scared, that somebody that's about to cower? Oh, the hate is real. The hate, hey, Poogie Watson, the hate is real. Why you think that shirt's over my shoulder? I don't even like got a front no more. Y'all see it? Let them hate. Most hated. Oh, that's the wrong shoulder. Most hated t-shirt. Somebody put the link in the chat. Y'all want the most hated t-shirt? That's it. Most hated. Dak Prescott. It ain't even close. It ain't even close. It ain't even remotely close. Dak is the most hated player in the league. But when I see him grinding through all this hate, through all this doubt, through all these trade rumors, like the guy earlier in the, in, in the stream, Dak going to be a Raider. No, he's not. At least not next year. I can't definitively tell y'all that Dak Prescott... is going to be the quarterback after this year? I don't know. I want to give y'all this wild prediction. Yo, Dak will be back, no question. Let me get a little water. I don't know. See, that's my point. Somebody just told me Josh Allen led the league in TDs last year. What does that mean? I have no problem with giving Josh Allen props for leading the league in TDs. I have a problem when people act like Josh Allen is great and Dak Prescott is trash. Because if you can acknowledge one quarterback for getting stats, why can't you acknowledge the other? Yeah, he threw a lot of interceptions. He did. That's my thing. People will tell me about Josh Allen and what he did. And that's phenomenal. But why does Josh Allen get praised for his accolades and Dak don't? People bring up, Josh Allen got an all-pro, right? I know. I've heard it. People have told me about it. But when you bring up Dak Prescott's all-pro, it's almost like sacrilegious. Like, ah, oh, how dare you bring that up? Glenn White, my dog. What's good with you? $10 super chat. Let me go and read that. Rome, when, <laughs> when you can do a mock where we trade back twice, once in the first round and then um, the top of the second, someone would give us a nice pick to get in the Ravens or Chiefs pick into the fifth um, and get their fifth next year. I agree. Now, I did this stream. Thank you, Glenn White, for the 10 line Super Chat. You know I'm captain team trade back, general trade back, whatever you want to call it. Loves beauty. I never understood the narrative of Josh Allen. Please, he cannot hold a torch to Dak. I think Josh Allen's a phenomenal quarterback as far as he's athletic. He, 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 he got a cannon for an arm. I ain't saying he's bad. Loves beauty. I'm not. I'm saying I don't understand why he gets praise and Dak gets act. People act like Dak can't play football. 
It's mind boggling. I feel like Josh Allen and Dak are way closer to each other than you think, except Josh Allen's a little bit more athletic. But I also think that Dak is way more smart with the football. He's been in the league for nine years. His interception percentage is top five in league history. But that one year makes everybody think he's an interception machine. No, no, that's just a false narrative. But let me talk about the draft. Y'all want to switch to the draft for a second? I know I've been talking about Dak too long. You want y'all want to switch to the draft? Or y'all want to talk about this this this, this Drake disc? Because I, I was going, I gotta talk about that for two seconds too. <laughs> we gonna talk about that Drake disc. We gonna talk about that Drake disc because I'm. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I'll send Shady to say, yes, please, let's talk about draft. Okay, 35 minutes and let's talk. Um, I think I know the Cowboys draft plan. Yes, I heard the Rick Ross response. Yes, <laughs> and it was crazy <laughs> in a good way. Yes, sir. And, and my group chat is going crazy. Not it, they are here talking about. Oh, the group chat is group chat. Okay. Hold on. My apologies. Um. Rhino, the plan is there is no plan. I think I know the plan. Y'all want to hear my plan? I think I get the plan. I ain't saying it's right, but I think I know. I think our plan aligns with our draft position. People say don't draft for need because draft for need is bad. <laughs> Tyron, Tyron Church, man, put the plan in the chat. I think that the plan 100%. I'm gonna go top three picks. After that, top three picks, it's whatever happens. I do think trading back is in the plan. The only thing that can mess trading back up, I feel like, I feel like, is if a certain player falls to 24. Who is y'all player that falls to 24 that you like, I don't care who there or what's happening. I'm not trading back. I'm just taking them. 225 likes. Let's let's hit the like button. Let's get it to 250. It's 260 people watching. Loves beauty. I like the mock draft you've been doing. You've been posting wrong. Thank you. I'm gonna do a mock draft after this joint. Last time I did the joint with the mock drafts, I, I put up in the chat. I'm gonna do that again next Sunday, the day after my birthday. My my birthday next Saturday. We'll do another mock draft stream. I might do one before that. I will get there. We'll get there. Keon Coleman. Okay, Isaac Williams said I'm I'm taking Keon Coleman 24. I'm not waiting. I respect that. Graham Barton or JPJ, Jackson Power Johnson. I respect that, Amanda Brown. Jackson Power. A lot of y'all like Jackson Powers. Do y'all know that Jackson Powers has a hip injury that just came out the last couple of days? That's why his stock been dropping. He got a hip injury. He'll be ready, but he has a hip injury. Graham Barton and Marius Mims. I don't know about Mims, dog. You know Mims only played eight games last year. He had injuries. We just got off Tyron Smith. I need you to be healthy. I'm not, I don't know if I'm taking injured injured guy. I don't know. Travis Smitty. Jerry going after a QB. Sanders um next year. At Jerry's going after a QB. Sanders next year. Thank you for that one dollar super chat. Appreciate you. Or 199 super chat. And you think the Dallas Cowboys fan base hates Dak Prescott? You think y'all can handle? Deion Sanders' son? Y'all ain't built for that life. You're not ready for Deion's. You ain't ready for um, Deion Sanders' son at quarterback. No, you're not even built. Y'all barely can handle quiet, choir boy Dak Prescott, even though he's not like that. You think you can handle... <laughs> Not built for that life. You think you are. I would take Fa Alu Fashino, Fat Fashino from I think it's Penn State with 
He's not going to be there. I'll say that. I'm sure he won't be there. Yes, I would stay and pick him. Troy Fontano, Troy Fontano out of Washington, I'm taking him. I'm not trading back if he's there. Keon Coleman, his stock has dropped. Keon will make it to the second round. So I don't think we got to fight over Keon Coleman. Edrick Cooper, I don't know if I'm taking a linebacker that high. Me personally. I got another super chat from Down South Cowboy 504. Appreciate you. Trading back for one extra pick. How does it that help when you're leaving a better player on the board? That's not smart. Ooh, perfect. Thank you. I would love to explain. Thank you for that super chat. Y'all want me to explain why I'm captain trade back. First of all, you can trade back, get two picks. But let me explain to you why we need one pick. Your ownership group, and I'm not being funny to you, I'm just being serious. Your owners are jackasses because they traded away our fourth round pick for a guy that's not playing in Trey Lance. And that would be fine if you participated in free agency. But you let like nine players walk out the door. And you have seven draft picks. So let me see. You got a full roster. You let nine players walk out the door. I can do most. I think I got that number right. Let me see. Dante Fowler. Tyler Beatish. Right? Hankins. Gilmore. Dorrance Armstrong. Who else left? Jerron Curse. We got a lot of people that didn't left. I think I got nine correct. You have seven slots to draft. And you're asking me why I want to trade back if there's a better player on the board? You're in tags touching territory. You must not be into the draft like I am. Tony Pollard left. My fault. I'm getting yeah, Yeah, yeah. I think I'm good on nine. Pardon me. I need a haircut. All them players walked out the door. When you get to pick 24, you're not picking premium. All of them players in the back of the draft got something wrong with them. Our Marius Mims has injury issues. Jackson Powers has a hip injury. Graham Barton might be a great center, but he played tackle in his in, in college. But he's too small to play tackle, so he's willing to move positions. Let's not act like these players are untouchable unmovable you ever heard of tags touching that means these things are close and tags usually touch from 20 20 pick 20 24 ish all the way through the top 30s these players are close so yeah you move back with buffalo and you get a fourth round pick that we need and you get a pick in the 200s that we need Because we need more than seven picks. We need about nine. I would love 10, but I'm reaching. Because your ownership group does not want to sign a free agent. We sign one. I don't even count Jordan Lewis because you're just re-signing your own. Rico Dowdo is re-signing your own. We signed Eric Kendricks. That's it. You trade back because you need the capital. You're not trading back from one to five. And you're like, ah, I might have left the best quarterback in the draft on the board. You're trading back from 24 to 28 with the Bills. Or the 32 with the Chiefs. Or the 31 with the Niners. Because you're trying to get draft capital. Because you need it. You're saying, what is one pick? You know what that fourth round pick can be? A D tackle. Because newsflash, how many D tackles do you have in the room? The last I counted, we got one in a possible. We got a spades hand in the D tackle room. We got Osa and Mozzie, who has a shoulder injury. Because Carl Davis is not a D tackle that I want playing. That's it. 
That's not me being funny. That's all the that's the only players we have in the D tackle room. Why do we need an extra pick? Because we need players. What are you talking about? We have no starting running back right now. Not like, I mean, maybe Rico can do it. No, he can't. No, he can't. Freight train with the 20 with the 199 super chat. 24 is the second trade back and get a third or a fourth. That's a fact. Thank you for the two dollar super chat. Peter Cobb, the two dollar super chat. Hey, big younger bro, what's good? Thank you for the two dollar super chat. What's good with you? Don't want me to tell you why Rico Dado can't get it done. Y'all want to hear a big difference? Why y'all delete? Don't de- hey, don't delete that 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 that. Sean Paul said if Penix falls at twenty four, I'm taking him. Other than that, I'm trading back. I'm not mad at that. You don't got to delete that. That's not derogatory. He just believes in Penix. I don't agree with him, but you don't got to delete that. That's not bad. I'm not mad at that. Y'all, y'all know my point. If it ain't racial or derogatory towards somebody else, y'all don't got to delete the comments. That's not bad. If it, if I feel otherwise, I'll tell y'all. But y'all don't got to delete that. That's not that bad. He just wants Penix. He don't like Dak. I know everybody. That's why the most hated thing is behind me. I know. I know I, what Dak. What Dak life is about. They hate Dak. Everybody hates Dak. I get it. I ain't, I ain't worried about that. But sometimes y'all delete comments. I can't combat myself. I'm good at what I do. I'm good. You know why Rico? When we had Tony Pollard and Zeke, right? Y'all remember that? You got to seize your opportunity. When Zeke came up the field, Tony Pollard would always take advantage and do something crazy, like break an 80 yard run, 30 yard run. To the point where Tony made us start saying, yo, do we need Zeke? But when when, when Zeke left and Tony became the number one running back and Rico became the number two running back, Rico had his chance to do what Tony did. And he did it. Because no one ever down south cowboy rico gonna be okay yeah he's gonna be okay no one ever not not even you down south cowboy none of y'all ever sat there and said this because you did when zeke left i'm cool with zeke leaving we got tony pollard yeah a lot of y'all said it y'all was cool with it tony about to be number one y'all was ready for tony to be number one Cause y'all thought what we saw when when we saw when Tony would take over for Zeke was about to be regular, bro. He didn't have a fair chance. What, what do you mean he didn't have a fair chance? He was a change of pace back, just like Tony used to be. The difference was Tony used to break tackles and go for seventy before the injury. Rico got his chance. He got his seven or eight carries like Tony used to get. Tony didn't get a whole lot of carries when Zeke was here. Zeke was getting like 19 carries a game. Let's not act crazy. Tony would get six or seven carries a game and break one. Rico had his chance all last year. And none of y'all said after the season, yo, I'm cool with Tony leaving because we got Rico. Not one of y'all. That's not disrespecting Rico. That's just real. When you see, yo, when you get your opportunity, you seize it. Tell me I'm lying. Y'all want me to give you an example of somebody that seized their opportunity when it arose? Hey, look. I never believed in Tony starting. So if you ain't believe in Tony starting, I know you don't believe in Rico. Lead foot 97 is you getting a mod because you on point. And and Will Bill, you on point too. Will Deron Bland, Will Bill 74. I like the way y'all think. Hey. Hunter Lipke, fan favorite. 
just give Hunter the ball. He next. When Hunter got his chance to score on the goal line, he fumbled. I've heard a whole lot of, well, the way Dak handed him the ball. Nah. You get one chance in the league. Sometimes you get one chance. Don't mess up. Look at Cuckoo, rookie. You talking about Hunter? You talking about Hunter? He a rookie? Guess what? Dak Prescott, when he came into the league, drafted the fourth round, was not supposed to play. You behind Tony Romo. You behind Kellen Moore. You behind Jamil Showers. Dak was behind three quarterbacks. Tony Romo got hurt. Kellen Moore got hurt. Jamil Showers got hurt. Dak Prescott balled out all camp. Balled out all camp. But when he got his chance versus the Seahawks and the Rams in preseason, he balled. When he got his chance in the regular season, 13 straight wins. He lost his first game in New York, but he had flashes. 13 straight wins. That's how you seize your moment. As usual in Dak Prescott's career, he does some things that ain't accidental. You can't trip, fall, and slip and win 13 games. I don't care. You just can't. Now, it wasn't just him. He had Zeke, and he had an incredible team with him. But he was at the helm. He seized his moment. Y'all said Deron Bland. Deron Bland seized his moment. When Deron Bland started getting snaps, he started getting interceptions. His first year and last year, Deron Bland, took. he seized his moment. He was a what, fifth round pick? Fifth or sixth? Deron Bland he came in and never hesitated. I got my chance. I'm taking it. Now he an all pro. See, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a corn ball. I ain't had one of these in a minute. Corn on a cob in the chat. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me read his comment. Yeah, and nine years later, his bum ass is two and five in the playoffs and can't get past the second round. Dak is mid. First of all, shut your bum ass up. That's first. Second of all, you tell me some quarterbacks that ain't named Patrick Mahomes is getting it done. And I'll wait. Because you look like you got a corny ass green jersey in that picture, if I'm not mistaken. It looked like Dookie Green. So I know where you're coming from and how you coming. But as, as much as you talk about my quarterback, your bum-ass quarterback is 3-1 and one versus mine. That's a fact. If your quarterback's so good, tell him to beat mine. That's first. But second, tell me another quarterback that's getting it done. I'll wait. Got you in You can't get me in my feelings. I got 260 people watching on a Friday night in April. In my feelings. Come on, dog. You watching me. It's 10 p.m. on Friday night. You got to have something better to do, but you watching me. Come on, dog. You didn't you didn't trip and fell in the wrong string. You might want to go watch somebody else. I ain't the one. Oh, see, see, you afraid to respond. See, I knew, I knew I give people chances. See, you just like them players I was talking about. You like Rico Dowdle and Hunter Lipke. You ain't seize your moment, Drew. I gave you the stage and you afraid of it. Now you playing, you, you talking like my 13-year-old. I gave you your stage, and all you got is you pick me out the chat, nephew. You afraid to talk. If you ain't got no points to make, shut your bum ass up. Sit in the corner. I tried to get, I gave you your chance. You was on the big stage, and you folded. You folded. 
You like Drake in this rap battle. You thought you was ready and you released the mid. Don't come out here with the mid. Come out here with something. Say something. Come on, dog. You was right there. You talking trash about Dak, but you ain't have no good comeback. Come on, Drizzy. You not Drew. You Drake now. You Drake, you soft. Come on, man. Tried to give Drake, yo, I tried to give my boy Drizzy something to say. Come on, man. He over there talking about his franchise better. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Yo, as bad as our, our C off seasons has been, none of my fans, none of my constituents, none of my colleagues, none of my associates, nobody cares about what y'all doing. Y'all done signed 75 free agents. And we still going to beat the brakes off y'all like we do every year. Every time y'all come to Dallas, we drop 4-0 on you. What are you talking about? Come on, man. In the words of Love's Beauty 41, Drew, wait until Karen Moore gets a hold of your quarterback. I can't wait. Quarterback lost six of seven games, got blown out by Baker Mayfield, was down by six in the third quarter with the ball in his hands. And what did he do? He got a safety. And you in here talking to me. The audacity, the unmitigated goal, the irony of you to come here talking about good quarterbacks. If you don't shut your bum ass up, Y'all got 15 number one receivers, uh, the best offensive line, one of the best tight ends, the best running back, all this extra shit, and he can't throw 23, 24 touchdowns. Come on, dog. And then when I gave you a chance to tell me the quarterbacks that's getting it done, you want to say, no, you in your feelings. No. Now you on the Summer Jam stage getting clowned. Come on, dog. Gave you too much energy. Now I'm going to let the cartel do what they do best. Y'all know what to do with Drew, Drew Cartel. Tell him to go sit in the corner because he can't sit at the grown people's um space table no more. I tried. I get Don't, don't, don't say don't, don't deflect. I asked you a dumbass a question. You ain't answer it. I gave you a chance. Now you going the cartel gonna do what they gotta do. Don't say I ain't give you a chance though. Wherever you at, watching from your iPhone nine or some bum ass phone. Don't get mad at me. I tried. I gave you a chance. You ain't want to talk. I said, give me some quarterbacks. You ain't give me none. Now you want to be funny and call me nephew and all that. Like we cool. We not cool. Now you muted. I tried to give you a chance. Moderators is on it. Brandy Mahoney, what's good? My fault. I gave him too much energy. Sometimes I got to get back in my cornball bag. I tried to give him a chance, though. I asked him a question. Yo, man, you saying Dak Prescott is 2-5 and five in the playoffs? You tell me somebody that got it great. Because the quarterbacks that he about to bring up, he don't want to talk about that. He don't. Lamar Jackson got two MVPs, and guess how many playoff wins he got? Two. But anyway, back to my team. I don't have the mock draft. I can't put the mock draft on here because I'm I'm streaming straight through straight through YouTube. So I don't I can't put the mock draft on the screen. But I think the plan for the Cowboys is this. I think we'll trade back. We'll get an extra pick. Maybe two. I would love to. I would love a late 200s pick and our fourth rounder back. That's all I want. We can get a better pick package than that. That's fine. But that's all I want. I want more capital. I want nine picks. Right.
I want nine picks. I think earlier in the draft, I think we take somebody like Kingsley Sue Mateo, Jackson Powers, even though he got a hip injury, or Frazier out of West Virginia. Remember that name, Frazier out of West Virginia, right? Depending on which lineman we get, that's where life, um, Tyler Smith is going to go. I would love to tell y'all where Tyler Smith is going to go. I think we're going to go with a left tackle, but if we get wiped out, if or, or Jordan Morgan, those are the three. The three linemen I think we might get. Three and a possible. Tyron Church is on my page. It's Morgan in no particular order. Jackson Powers or Frazier, those are the two centers. The two tackles are Morgan or, or Sue Mateo. That's it. Grand Barton, I think he's gone. I think his stock has risen. I think he's gone. Me, he's the possible. Right? Round two, I see running back. Trey Benson or Jonathan Brooks. Round two is running back. So round one is O lineman. No, round one is trade back and O lineman. We're not going to trade out of the first round because Stephen Jones wants that fifth year. Right? So we're not going to trade out of the first round. So we're going to go trade back between 28 32. That's the Bills through, through, through the Chiefs. Get our extra picks, linemen. Then round two is running back, Benson or Brooks. Benson or Brooks. Braylon Allen will come into the picture if we don't get Benson or Brooks. If a unicorn is sitting there in round two, we take him, and I think Braylon Allen will be there for us in the fourth, but that's another discussion. Third round pick. Third round pick is between D-tackle, like Tavondre Sweat, Jordan Jefferson, something like that, or receiver. I know we've, we brought Malachi Corley in. I think Polk will be there. I think Keon Co See, Love's Beauty's on my page. I think Keon Coleman might be there in the third because people are stupid. People are really letting them, really letting that 40 yard dash get y'all out your body. Keon Coleman is a beast. And we, we almost said, 300 likes. I appreciate y'all. I just want to say thank you. It's 283 likes in here. Thank y'all, man. Bucky Irving would be a good pick if Bucky Irving would be a good pick if we already had a running back. Bucky Irving is a luxury pick. It's like when the when when the, when the Dolphins took Dev Devin A Chain, Devon A Chain last year, they already had Mostert. Oh, I like I like Xavier Leggett too, Freight Train. I do. I do. I do. See, y'all making me. Do I need to do a. Um... All right, I'll say this. I've been here for an hour. Do I need to do a mock draft joint tomorrow? Do I need to do a mock draft stream tomorrow? Because y'all ain't here ready. I can't do it right now, Devin. I can't put the joint on the screen because I'm running through YouTube. I can't put it on the screen. Last time I did a mock draft stream, y'all ain't seen like y'all liked it. I might come back here tomorrow with a mock draft stream, but y'all, but it's two hundred and fifty people in here. If I do a mock draft stream tomorrow and it's it's like a hundred people, I'm gonna be mad. Y'all all gonna come back tomorrow. We are gonna do a mock draft because I'm running through these players and y'all look at me like I'm crazy. I'll put it back on the screen tomorrow. Um, the the, the draft simulator, or we could just run through it. Brandy Mahoney, I want to see one and compare. All right. I need confirmation. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see it. I'm I'm putting a poll up before I go. Uh, let's see. Um, let me see. Hold on, hold on. My because I need to see some genuine draft. I can't spill. That's blame it on the whiskey. Uh, 
All right. The poll is up. Mock draft tomorrow. Y'all got to vote. I want to know because I'll do it tomorrow. I just want to know. But I don't want to be here talking to myself. It's almost 300 likes. It's 240 people here. I want this type of turnout tomorrow night, and I'll do it. 33 votes. I got it. Okay. 97%. Okay, y'all want it. I like it. Okay. Cool, cool. Don't use PFF straight from the hip. Nah, cool, cool. I got to put it up on the screen. That's the point. I can go straight from the hip, but they ain't trying to hear me. Straight from the hip, I'm going, I'm trading back. I'm getting an extra fourth round pick. I'm going Kingsley Sue Mateo. I'm going. Because I feel like we can't wait on running back because I feel like some other teams is going after it. King Sue and Mateo, I'm going Brooks or Benson, second round. So running back, second round. I'm going D tackle or receiver, and depending on who's on the board, third round. Um, I got a fourth round pick now. So by the time I get to the fourth round, you know who I'm probably going to get? This is the, this is the tricky part. I got Kingsley. I'm going to get Cedric Van Pran out of Georgia. Yeah, Cedric Van Pran, the center out of Georgia. So now my, my O-line is built. I got Cedric at center. I got Kingsley at tackle. I'm sending both of them to, to, to Duke Manny Weather for the summer. I got Tyler Smith at all pro guard. We lit. The, re, the O-line rebuilt. I got Malachi Corley coming in. He Debo Jr. I got, like, I'm ready. Only thing that's changing Malachi Corley is if somehow Cleon Coleman is there in the third. I'm taking him. But we're gonna talk, we're gonna do this tomorrow. I see 47 people. Y'all saying yes, we're doing a mock draft tomorrow. Maybe I'll bring some friends tomorrow. How y'all feel about that? Maybe I'll see if my boys will jump on with me. What time I'm at Cali Rome, so it won't so it won't be on um your time. Um Brandy Mahoney, I'm thinking <sighs> six or seven-ish. Let's just say eight. Eight o'clock tomorrow, eight p.m. I'm Eastern, so that'll be five for you. Five p.m. ish. Is that bad? Philly, Philly, what's good? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Now I can't promise y'all I'm being there for an hour and seven, but we might do thirty. I see if Tuck is available. I see if my boy DMV is available. Maybe we can do a um a joint draft. Y'all want to do that tomorrow? My dogs, man, they're my dogs. We can do a joint draft show tomorrow. Last time we did a joint draft, that that joint came out fire. I'm gonna see if my, if my brothers ain't available. I'll do it myself, but I'm gonna see if they're available. Hold, on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I'll call him. Should I call Jay Tuck? I'll call Jay Tuck right now on the phone. I don't care. I'm. A, it's late. <laughs> I don't want to call with disrespectful. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna call him. I'm, a, I'm about to get him on. The, I'm about to get him on the on the stream. I'm gonna put him on speakerphone. <laughs> I don't care. I would love Law to come on the show. That's the OG. That's the goat. Is Law in here? Did I miss him? Say I miss Law jumping here because Law 100 is welcome. Yeah, they, nah, they not. I'm gonna see if they. I'm gonna see if they 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 free after this joint. I don't want to call. I, look, I'm from that era, man. I can't call nobody's phone at 10 p.m. Them brothers is married. I gotta be respectful. But I'll see if they. Um, I would love to get law on the joint. I'll text them. 
I'll text Law tonight, see if he want to do it. I will see if Law's free, DMV, and Jay Tuck. We, we, we'll, we'll kill it tomorrow. Okay, before I do, unlucky. Hold on. Great point. Rome. They rarely give me Rome notifications whether I catch you live or not. The replays still be lit. Do you, Rome? First of all, thank you. Hey, hey, let me ask y'all a question. How many of y'all, how many of y'all got notifications on? We one like away for 300. Somebody just, can somebody get it to 300? That is, we one like away? I'm calling DMV first. I'm going to call them one by one. Please, yo, turn on the um, notifications. You got notifications on, Sandberg? I'm getting you. You need a mod. Because a lot of people be telling me that. You didn't get a notification? That's that's horrible. I'm sorry. I'm calling my bro right now. Late. Hope he don't kill me. Hope he don't kill me. You see? Well, turn them on. Hopefully, they work. You, DMV, was good. Hey, hold on. I'm about to put you. I'm on live stream. I'm putting you on the speakerphone. They, they, they calling for you. Hold on. Yo, you can hear me? Yes, sir. Yo, they want they want a live stream tomorrow, but they want the goats in there. Um, probably in the evening, like maybe like seven, eight. Oh, yeah, yeah. They want they look, they want you, they want Tuck. They they, they asked us to hit up law. They want us to do a live stream because we was killing the joint. Oh, okay. And I was like, yo, what you mean? These are my, my dogs. Like, so I, I called you on the live stream. They can hear you. DMV, you coming through tomorrow? Hey, bro, yeah, absolutely. Let's let's make it happen. Let's bro. make I can definitely make that happen. Yo, we going to do the live stream tomorrow. They on the AO. Hit watch up. All right, man. We ain't going to be able to get the nine-person joint. But we. <laughs> but I'm going to definitely get my, my my dog DMV in there. I'm going to hit you in the, um, the group chat after this. We're going to put a play together, all right? Group chat lit, baby. Group chat is lit. All right. Everybody, look. They got DMV fire in the chat. That's a fact. <laughs> gang, gang. That You already know DMV, my dog. We we gonna we gonna put it together, all right, bro. I, they, they they wanted me to call you. I said, <laughs> now I ain't know. I was like, I'm gonna call him late because I wanted to be respectful, but I had to call you because they wanted to, to, to hear your voice. So tomorrow we gonna we gonna put a play together. We gonna get this live stream because we was talking mock draft, and I was like, I need my brothers in. Oh yeah, for sure, bro. Hey, this is they want law. Shit, law probably step up too. That's you know, that's man. cool. If we can get the four man weave tomorrow, we gonna do it. Okay, bet. That's a bet. I hit you in a minute. All right. I'm gonna do one more call, y'all. I'm gonna see if I, I got, I'm gonna see if I get Tuck on there. Let me see. It's it's late. Y'all got me pushing the limits. Tuck, I'm like, yo, why is you calling my phone? Mad late. <laughs> but I gotta I gotta hit my brothers, man. All right, let me let me let me call Tuck regular first. So I don't look crazy. We're gonna do this. Yo, it's super late, and I'm sorry. All right, so look, I got I got J Tuck on the line. I'm I'm live right now. I'm about to put you on speakerphone. I'm gonna put you on they, nah, cause they they was calling for you, bro. Hold on, bro. They want a live stream tomorrow. They want they 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 want this. We was we was talking. We was talking stuff. We almost started talking to Drake this and stuff. We might we could do that tomorrow after the mock draft. But they want this mock draft smoke. I called DMV on the live. He said he down. I said I'm gonna call Jay Tuck. And yeah, yeah, give it a show. Just let me know what's up. Bro. They talking about um you know I'm Eastern you you Central. They talking about maybe like um eight Eastern, maybe nine, yeah, but like. Right. Yeah, man, tomorrow night. But just this, this the play. Everybody keeps saying, yo, get law. Okay. So 
I want to reach out to law. We can we can we gonna hit the group chat. We'll see if we can get law for y'all. But we can do a four man weave. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, let me know, bro. But they ready. So I I was talking about y'all. I was like, yo, we're gonna do this mock. They said, yo, what up with Tuck and DMV? So I called y'all. <laughs> All right. yeah, so y'all hear it. Yeah, look, Tuck is down. It's 200, 218 people watching around. Tuck said he's down, so we're gonna make this work. That's a bet, bro. All right, cause look, man, I I gotta bring y'all in, y'all y'all the, y'all the draft gurus. I need my brothers. All right, bro. Yeah, we got it. We got it. That's a bet, bro. All right, man, you get home safe from the from the soccer game, and we gonna we gonna chop it up. All right, bet, bro. All right, peace. All right, y'all. Yeah. All right, that's a bet. All right, we 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 rocking. We got DMV tomorrow. We got my brother Jay Tuck tomorrow. We gonna get it going. We gonna get it going. Mock draft. We gonna do. If we're going to do a mock draft show, I say we do, what y'all think, four? Four mocks? And I got an idea for y'all. Check this out. I got an idea for y'all. Jay Tuck had this idea last, last the last joint. Let me know if y'all ready for this, and we'll see if we can put this play together during the day. Y'all listening? Of course. That's what we do. It's all It's all love. Jay Tuck was saying he'll get a call in line, two dollar super chat. Um, I just put on Twitter new media that hey man, common sense lab. Thank you, thank you. That's love. Thank you. Jay Tuck was talking about putting a call in line. Y'all want to do a call in line tomorrow where we do some mock drafts and then we do a, a call in line where we do say we do a trade back, we got nine picks. And then we do each person gets to call in and do a pick. So we got nine call ins. Everybody gets to make a pick. That was Jay Tuck idea. I think it'll be dope. We'll do our joint and then we we do one call in line joint where y'all do y'all picks. Oh, my that's my dog, JC Cowboys Network, man. JC been killing the breakdowns in mock, mock draft season. I'll be watching your joints to get information, JC. Y'all go subscribe to my brother's channel. He be killing it too. All right, we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to do the, the mock draft. If we can't do the mock draft, call in. Maybe we'll put the link in there. But we're going to figure out a way that y'all can help us out with the picks. We're going to kill it. I appreciate y'all, man. I had a good time tonight. I had a good time tonight, man. I appreciate all y'all. Ty Cowboys, Rome, Chad, how y'all feeling? I'm feeling phenomenal. I feel good, man. I feel like this is what – can I tell y'all that before I go? This is why I do this. Y'all know how negative the Cowboys offseason been? Everything we do is, yo, I hate the Cowboys. I hate Dak Prescott. I hate this. I hate that. The reason why I do this is because of y'all. See, JC Network, my mother effing dude. That's the, JC be killing it. But I'm just saying, like, I rock with y'all because y'all make this Cowboys fandom thing fun. It's been rough. Y'all know it's been rough. So it's cool to rock with like minded Cowboys fans because when you watch, like, ESPN and FS1, it's all negativity. It's cool to rock with people you rock with. So tomorrow we're going to put a play together. It's been rough, JC. It's all good. We're going to get it going. We got to do some work, JC. We're going to get it going. JC is a beast. Y'all make sure when y'all leave here, y'all go check out JC's channel. He got breakdowns. Y'all go subscribe. Show my brother love. That's what we do. That's what we do. I'm going to slide up out of here. We're going to talk tomorrow. We're going to try our best. I got I got DMV. I got Tuck. I'm going to try to get law. I'm going to try to get law and see if law is free. But I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all hit the sub button. Hit the like. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll holler.